Once your installation is finished, you'll actually be able to go ahead and open Xamarin Studio from the spotlight. So you can search it through the spotlight. You just have to press command space and you can start typing Xamarin. And you will see Xamarin Studio right there. Now, if you go to new solution, you can actually create a cross-platform application, an iOS application, an Android application, or you could even create a .NET application, something like console projects or a shared projects or even a portable library. And you may not know exactly what this all is, but we're actually going to start working with C Sharp with a console application. So this is actually the first C Sharp project that we're going to be creating during this course. Also, we're going to be checking a little bit about portable libraries or portable class libraries, which will allow us to create certain packages that will work throughout applications, throughout platforms. So without further ado, in the next section of this course, we're going to finally start coding some hey, C Sharp. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to go not on the like button. And if you want to learn more about Xamarin or how to build iOS and Android apps sharing C Sharp code, there are two things that you can do. The first thing is to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be uploading a lot of content about Xamarin in this channel, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos. The second thing that you can do is to make sure that you have all of the content available immediately plus some content that will never be available here on YouTube. And that is enrolling on my Xamarin course. I have a Xamarin course available on Udemy.com and I will be linking it down below along with a very good discount that I have at your disposition just because you have just seen this video. So go ahead and enroll or subscribe. I'll make sure to see you in the next video.